data is not value neutral. It's not just numbers that are on a spreadsheet. That data and data collection happens within a society and within a community. And that that system automatically has values attached to it. And so what that means is that there can be cases where information about women and girls that is collected is either not collected in the first place, um, and so it's, it's not prioritized in the way that we collect our data, or that the way that data is collected is in some way biased. And first of all, most of the data that we are traditionally been collecting is aggregate data based on a household, based on a farm, or you know, at the region, at the region or a country level. And we really need much more disaggregated data to be able to capture events and conditions that affect women and girls. The second thing is that the coverage is very poor in many of the sectors. We may have data for one sector, let's say 40% of the countries actually collect data on violence against women, but you know it's only 40% or there are some data um, uh, items that, they, uh, that we have never collected data on. And the third one is even in the cases where data is available, it's not used or it's not open and it's not accessible. Well, for me, biased data means bad data, you know, and bad data basically leads into bad policies and bad uh, decisions. And if what we're trying to do in global development and achieving the sustainable development goals is to build a pathway to achieving those goals, to build a pathway to global prosperity for all, then we have to have reliable and accurate and comparable information globally in order to know where we're going, to know where we need to course correct, and frankly to know whether we've achieved what we've set out to achieve. But another thing that's really important to consider is that if we don't have gender data uh, and if we're working off of you know the wrong songbook, then we risk further entrenching some of those gender biases that already exist. So if we if we just perpetuate a system where we have bad data or no data, then it's just going to kind of keep us in this cycle. If we want to have a gender data revolution, we really need to work on all fronts, from data production, data management, data use, openness of data and making it much more accessible and having an impact on improving policies and conditions and lives of people. It's an area that has a lot of history, but it's an area that has still many strides to go. And I think for data scientists, male or female, I think it represents a really interesting opportunity for getting it right. Because if we are able to get it right, if we are able to, you know, in the next five, 10, 15 years, to really know that we have accurate gender data, that we have accurate data that represents the, the lives, the needs, the realities, the aspirations, the, the opportunities of women and men and boys and girls, that's going to transform the way that we're able to think about global progress. And data science plays a critical role in that.